incoming message. What is the story that you are telling? And if you are not quite clear, all you need to do is look at your life because every day you are living out a new chapter in an old story and you are the author, the illustrator, and the main character Everything that you think, believe, and do is aligned to support the integrity of the plot that you have created. You live to validate that story and make sure that everyone around you fits within the confines and limitations of your creation. And even though you are the author, you may find yourself experiencing temporary and very convenient amnesia. You may begin to act as if you are simply a character in someone else's story. I mean, after all, if you were the writer, wouldn't you create a better storyline? Wouldn't you create a plot where your character always reigns supreme over trials and tribulations? If that is indeed the case and you are the writer, why aren't you writing a more effective story? Too often, we fall victim to our story finding others who will gladly validate our beliefs, right? You will find an amazing connection between what you believe and what you experience. Other people, or characters, will magically show up that prove that you are right in your conviction. See, I told you. And you can just fill in that blank with whatever your sponsoring thought is. Some examples might be, well, all men cheat. I'm not as intelligent as I should be. People will just use me if I let them. I cannot have that because I'm not good looking enough. I cannot have that because I don't have the right degree. I will never have enough money. And the list could go on and on because we will continue to find evidence to support and validate the story that we are telling, sometimes absent of the realization that we are the author of that story. So what are some of these thoughts for you? And without trying to validate your very good reasons for your beliefs, no one is questioning the foundation of your judgment and how you came to those beliefs. What would you like to believe instead? How would you like for the story to continue as you move forward? You cannot rewrite the past. You cannot rewrite what's already been written, but you can certainly modify the direction and action in the chapters to come. You are not a victim to the day that is standing before you. You are the co-creator. You are the writer of your life. No one can make you feel anything. You are the manager of your life, and this includes your perceptions, your beliefs, system and your thoughts. So is your story one of victory or defeat? How will you rewrite your story today so that you are always the hero that emerges victoriously from trials and tribulations? No one or no thing can make it a bad day without your consent because this day is yours for the writing. And while we have a little time, I want to take a moment to thank you for taking the time to listen. I know that there are many options out there for you, so I really feel like it's a privilege and a gift. I hope you will take a moment to rate, review, and subscribe because that's really helpful. And spread the word. If you know of other people that might be interested in this podcast, please share it with them, won't you? I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for spending four minutes of your day with me. I know that time is precious. If there's anything specific that you would like to hear me speak about, please let me know. You can email me mark at askmarkward.com. 